for of beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. What I do know is that this is a foundation of you. And a foundation that I swore I wasn't going to buy. And I didn't buy. Because I had ordered this particular blush from Morphe in shade Spirit. And when I ordered it, at the moment, they will send you a free sample card in either light, fair, medium or deep, giving you little samples of all the shades of their foundation in that particular colour bracket. So you can decide which one is your match, which is why I've still got swatches on my chest. So, if you want to find out A, exactly which colour works best for me, but B, more importantly, how this foundation works on my 44 year old oily combo skin, then my friend, you are in exactly the right place. Comes a tutorial. Testing. And the neighbours are arguing again. Awesome. Here comes the film. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Uh, as you can see, eyes are part done already. And yes, they're very bright. I would have shown you this in the intro. Now, I actually bought a Morphe blush. And you can get a free sample of the foundation. And having seen the debacle that, you know, the, oh, it fills your pores, and, oh, <laughs> it settles into the lines, and, oh, but still buy it, here's my Morphe code. The only Morphe code I use is Adopt Love, because then money goes to an animal shelter. All one word, no space in between, just in case you're wondering. So obviously I picked up the light level. Let's see if I can get this close enough that you can actually see some of the. See, then when I get that close, you can't really see the difference. If I hold it back here, um, if I, I'm going to read the shades out to you as you go across. We've got F110, fairest with neutral undertones. Uh, F120, neutral, fairest with light yellow undertones. How can it be neutral with yellow undertones? It's either neutral or it isn't. F130 is cool, fairest with pink undertones. F140 is warm, fair with yellow. F150 is neutral, fair with neutral. F160 is neutral, fair with slightly pink. F170 is neutral, fair with slightly peach. F180 is warm, light with yellow. F190 is olive, light with neutral green. F100 is neutral, light with slightly pink. F110 is cool, light with pink. And F120 is neutral, light with neutral. Now, you can see, you don't get a huge amount in each of these little bubbles. So I don't know whether there's going to be enough to do my whole face. Um, in fact, there probably isn't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop some swatches here because I normally try and match my chest colour because I've got hyperpigmentation, my cheeks go quite pink, yada yada. So I'm just going to pop some swatches here to determine which one I think is going to be my best colour. Then I'm probably going to end up having to mix two or three of these together to get enough to put on my face to do a wear time test. Now the colour may not be right once it goes onto my face but to get enough I'm probably going to have to mix a few, so um, let's, oh, okay, they come out like this with, I don't know if you can see that, the numbers on the back, okay, so let's, let's start then, um, 
I might separate them into less strips actually. It might make life a little bit easier. Right, and I'm going to use, I've got a flat, this is actually a nail art brush. But it's ideal for doing swatches. Oh, let me just move my necklace out of the way. It's ideal for doing swatches here. So I'm going to try and peel the corners. Oh, there we go. That corner peeled up reasonably easily. Uh, people with nails, you're going to find it's a hell of a job getting into this, I'm telling you. Right, so this is F110. I'll put this here, you're going to see it. So that's F110. Thank you, I might have to tilt it down a wee bit. There we go. I'm going to clean off on my thing here. So F110 is neutral, fairest with neutral undertones. So now let's try F120. Oh, ow. Don't do that. I just said that, jabbed me right in the gum. It really hurt. I have to try and find some other way of getting into those. Hang on. Oh yeah, that really hurt. Uh, let's use a pair of tweezers. Tweezers are a little bit easier. So this is F120. And that's fairest with slightly yellow undertones, but they're still calling it neutral. F130. Feels like I'm talking about planes, doesn't it? The F130 bomber. I suppose when your name is Bomber, so I suppose it could be quite appropriate. I'm blethering because I'm trying to get into this, can you tell? Right, so this is F130. This is cool, fairest with pink undertones, which is possibly going to be... possibly going to be the right shade for me. I'm going to skip warm because I'm neutral to cool. So I'm going to skip 140, sorry folks if you're interested in 140, uh, and I'm going to go to F150, which is neutral, fair with neutral undertones apparently. Yeah, tweezers are definitely the way to go folks. If you've got nails trying to get into these blasted bubbles. I can't actually see what I'm doing here. Right, so that's made me go cross side. That's F150. What I will do is take a photograph of this once they've dried a little bit as well. Right, F160 is neutral, flare, fair, flare, fair with slightly pink undertones. Don't you dare rip on me, you little bugger. What's that I was saying about being easier to get into with tweezers? Apparently, he doesn't want me to get into this one. Oh, there we go. Just about, anyway. That's F160. 
Uh, I might do F170 as well because that's neutral fair with slightly peach undertones. So, because peach to me is neutral because it's halfway between pink and yellow. So let's try that one as well, shall we? Because, why the hell not? Ooh, sick that one. Great double chili going on in folks. I'll stick that one. Just there. Right. Now, obviously, I'm going to give these a little while to oxidise. And, um, I wonder if I can actually... If I zoom and then tilt, no. Maybe if I zoom and stand. Okay, so we've got F110 here, F120, F130, F150. F160 and F170. Now I actually think that one which is F120, that's bizarre because that's got yellow undertones but actually I'm beginning to wonder if this one might not be better. Looks like I could be F110 these are really starting to oxidise, as you can see. These three, not so much. Uh, I mean, that one looks almost invisible against my skin, so I'm guessing that's actually my perfect colour. So I'm actually the lightest one they do. And they call that fairest with neutral undertones. That's F110. Now... I'm not the fairest of people. I'm like, see from back here, yeah, you really, that one is just disappearing, so that is the shade that I need. It looks like, anyway. I'm not the lightest of people. I'm, in MAC, I'm NW13. In Fenty, I'm 150. Estee Lauder, I'm the lightest in Estee Lauder, actually. I'm either 1C0 or 1N0. Um, but, you know, there are people a lot lighter than me. I mean, Fenty has four shades lighter than me. MAC has got, I know it goes down to NW10, so that's got at least one shade lighter than me. Actually, the moon is drying, I'm beginning to think this one's looking better on me now. Where's my phone? Let me take a... Let me try and take a photograph. And just do it without getting shadow on the thing a bit. Really good idea, Ange, wouldn't it? Uh, try and get it. So I'm not getting shallow, but I'm getting an accurate colour representation. Let's try there. Right, let's have a look at that. See, looking down at it, that to me, I can actually see against my skin. But on the photo... I'll put the picture up, it just completely disappears. So I do think that that's actually going to be my colour, that lightest one. It's really disappointing. Right, I'm going to mix the three lightest ones together. See if that looks like it's going to give me enough to cover my face. If not, I'll mix all six of those together. And... Um, We'll see. So I'm going to pause you 
mix all those together on my um, on my usual Pokemon phone case, uh, and I'll be right back. So I will pause you and see you instantly. Okay, <clears throat> I slapped a bit extra on there, and it really shows the difference in oxidisation as well. That went a lot deeper. So I'm going to leave those on there while I do the rest of this, just out of interest. But I have mixed the first three together. As you can see, they're quite thick. So I'm hoping that's actually going to be enough. Um, so let's get you zoomed in and let's stick some of this on my face, shall we? Uh, I'm going to use a brush for this rather than a sponge because I don't have a huge amount and I don't want the sponge to soak up because I want to be able to see if this will actually build. I'm just slapping it on with this as you can see. This is actually a BH Cosmetics number no. 4 brush. I'm just gonna... My face has been washed, moisturised, uh, SPF'd and primed if you were wondering by the way. Actually I'm not... I can stick some on that so I don't know if I'm not doing half and half today. Don't this really, you know how the um, the Wet and Wild Foundation smells like paint? Yeah, so does this one. See, at the moment, this looks ridiculously too light on me. But given that it did oxidise quite a bit on my chest, and as I said, this isn't so much me actually getting a colour match, this is me just testing out the foundation, seeing what it's like. Because I'm not a Morphe affiliate. I don't care if I upset them or not. And even if I was an affiliate, you would still get honesty from me. As you all know. I mean, I've got codes now for quite a few, I've got codes for quite a few different companies. Two of them are affiliate, the rest of them aren't. But, regardless of whether or not I'm an affiliate, you still always get your uh, my absolute honest response. Right, so that's... That's one coat, carrying it down my neck just in case, because obviously um, probably isn't going to be the right colour, let's be honest. Um, I mean that to me is kind of light to medium, you can still see my dark circles, you can still see my redness coming through. So let's pick some up on the actual big brush and let's see how this builds, or if it builds. Um, okay, it seems to be building on itself reasonably well. I mean, it's not not looking too horrendous at the moment, but, you know, give it time. Give it time, boys. It really does smell like the wet and wild one, though. In terms of, you know, smelling like the sort of paint you put on your walls. Rather than the kind of paint you put on your face. Um, but as with the wet and wild one, once it's on, the smell dissipates reasonably quickly. Or at least, put it this way, I'm not actually smelling it. I'm smelling it while I'm moving the brush around. But once I stop moving the brush around, I'm not really being assailed with the smell of paint, put it that way. Just do that around the brows. Trust me now to be the moment to get an itchy nose. 
as always push it well into the nose there because that's the first bit to crease um, I've actually used a number of different primers today because my skin has because I had that cold over Christmas my skin has been a little bit uh, temperamental shall we say um, I've got a a pore filling primer on uh, which is very dimethicone, very silicone. -y. Um, I've got Wet n Wild spray, and I've got my usual antiperspirant primer, facial primer. Uh, the link to the film about the um, antiperspirant prime, facial primer that I use uh, is listed in my description box if you wanted more information on it. Um, as someone who suffers from chronic pain, and obviously with pain, you know, if you've ever had chronic pain, you know it makes you sweat, even in the depth of winter. And uh, the side effects of the meds that I take can also cause quite a bit of facial sweating it only seems to be on my face that it gets me though to be honest thankfully um, but that primer is an absolute godsend in terms of helping to keep makeup on my face for more than about an hour right okay so that's I would call that um, I'd call that a medium coverage because you can still see my mole you can still see some of the darkness coming through and obviously where I've scaled it down down here you can still see some of the redness coming through as well um, so let's have a quick zoom in and have a quick close-up look now a little bit too close to my camera am I? there we go um, so you can see it's there we go it's not actually in any of the lines as of yet. I would hope not with it having just been applied. But you can see it is very... I mean I've got oily combo skin and this is looking very very matte on me. I don't, I don't know why they're calling this a soft matte because this to me is very much a matte finish. I mean if I zoom you back out I'm looking a little bit ghostly. Uh, we'll see whether that still looks the same when I come back in a bit or whether I've oxidised down because you can see that first shade has really oxidised down again. Actually that first shade is really pink and that's meant to be neutral but that is super super pink. Right, but, I mean you can see that is that's definitely matte, that's not a soft matte by any stretch of the imagination and I did use all of the foundation from those three little pocket things. Um, I have no idea how much that would be in terms of pumps because obviously I don't actually have the foundation. I don't even know if the foundation has a pump. It looks like it's a squeezy tube um, so it might not even be a pump. I mean I know you can get squeezy tubes with pumps because I've got one here from Too Faced which I really like. Um, but this is Morphe, so probably not. Okay, I am going to go and finish the rest of my face off um, and my eye look, and I will come back with kind of an update, probably about 20 25 minutes' time, um, just so that we can see how it's settled down, how much it oxidises, if it oxidises, which I'm guessing it will do because it has oxidised on my chest. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just just see how it looks. I'm going to try and get the two check-ins done um, today. One usually around about four or five hours, and then one again, anything from eight to ten hours, because I like to give you a kind of halfway through the working day when you can nip off to the facilities, either ladies or gents, depending on your particular gender, and um, you know sort your face out, blot, touch up, add more powder, add more concealer etc, add more setting spray or moisturising spray if you have very dry skin 
um, and then again as, as what would be the end of the working day. Now, the only thing I touch up during foundation reviews is my lipstick. I don't blot, I don't add extra powder, um, I don't do any touch-ups at all. So when you see the check-ins, particularly the final check-in, it will be as if you haven't touched the foundation at all all day. All right? Right, okay. I'm going to go and finish the rest of my face and I will be back in YouTube world instantly again. All I've done is put concealer and powder on and I'm already looking closer so this does oxidise so if you are going to get it order something from Morphe, something small like a blush like I did and get a free tester card because Unless you've got a Morphe store near you where you can try them, chances are you're not going to get your right colour straight away. Because bear in mind this is a mixture of this one, this one, and this one. I'll be back. Hey, right, I'm back. Uh, took me a little bit longer than I anticipated because the neighbours that side were having a blazing row which was picking up on my camera and unfortunately even when they're not rowing pretty much every other word that comes out of their mouth is a cuss word so when they are rowing you can imagine what it's like anyway uh, this is how the foundation has settled down yes I did do a um, shimmery blush I used the Wet n Wild Hummingbird Hype, which is uh, like a, an apricot -y gold shift, which I think is really pretty. Um, and I use the Nika Ofra, Nikki Tutorials Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in Glazed Donut to get the, uh, the super bright. And the Lippy is Gerard Cosmetics uh, Longwear Hydra Matte in Sedona do you have a discount code it's all listed in my description box right so as you can see this is now settled down and actually looks uh, more like my color probably helped by the bronzer and everything but I mean you can see here I hope how these have they definitely all of them all of them have oxidized uh, to the point that those two look almost the same and now that one looks like my perfect shade despite the fact they reckon it's got slightly yellow undertones makes no sense to me because I'm neutral to cool so but apparently that one now looks like my perfect shade right I will come back again at about the four or five hour mark so we can have a, a zoom in see exactly how this foundation is doing I've got a few hours to wait for that you can see it right now. Hey, welcome back to the first check-in. This has been on, getting on for the six hours now. So let's have a zoom in, see how it's going. As you can see, hair got put up in a ponytail because I was just having one of those days, basically. Okay. Let's zoom in. I hope you didn't pick up on that. Okay. Uh, yeah, starting to split around those lines and looking. Given that my forehead is normally quite oily, that's really looking dry there. Not too bad on the Hulk at the moment. Um, but again, settling into these lines here. I have to ignore this bit, my eye has been running like mad today. But my under eyes are really dry and crepey as you can see. And it's really accentuating the fine lines that I've got at the side of my eyes. Yeah, splitting, cracking and settling around the nose and completely Coming off of the end here, 
uh, top lip looking scrappy, chin equally scrappy, still got uh, bronzer, blush and highlighter in place though so not overly bad on my cheeks but um, yeah I mean from a distance it doesn't look that bad the minute you start to get close up you can really see it's settling in all my fine lines um, it's really drying out here under my eyes I mean, I've got oily combo skin and for it to be looking dry up here that's really really not a good sign um, I'm not holding out a huge amount of hope for this foundation but I will continue on I'm not going to do anything to it um, yeah I mean I am really tempted to put some um, Maria Badescu spray on but I don't do that with any of the other foundations when I'm testing them um, if this was halfway through the working day I would be blotting, blotting, powdering and then drowning my face in something like my Mario Badescu um, facial spray or MAC Fix Plus or my Superdrug Vitamin E facial spray that I've got um, all of those are moisturising sprays rather than setting sprays, they won't extend the length of wear of your foundation but they will help with melding things together and if you've got really dry patches they will help with that too um, how they call this a soft matte finish I do not know because it's super matte on me and I had moisturised really well and I'd used a pore filling primer underneath my usual um, antiperspirant primer and I'd use that pore filling primer on those fine lines as well so the fact that it's sinking into them and it's it's cracking around the nose as well um, it's a real shame real shame because obviously I mean it's not the cheapest of foundations but it's cheaper and if it was going to be a good comparison to something like an Estee Lauder Double Wear or you know a MAC Studio Fix then you know I, I love finding reasonable and cheap dupes for high-end foundations um, sadly I don't think this is going to be one of them on the upside this eyeshadow really lasting well not quite as bling bling shiny as it was when I first applied it but let me get in my little mirror and have a close up look um, I mean there's a, there's a little bit of creasing simply because my lid is creased um, but there doesn't seem to be any cracking or anything so yeah I'm quite impressed with that uh, jelly matte shadow less impressed with the foundation Right, I'll see you back here for me. It's going to be a few more hours for you in YouTube world. Instant. Hey, welcome back to the final check in. Diddle down. Diddle it down. Okay, that's far too cheery for the state of this foundation. That might be a little bit of a spoiler alert. So let's get zoomed in. This has been on now for uh, going on for about nine hours. So let's have a zoom in. Let's see how it's doing. That's a hubby. If you're wondering what that noise is, I'm playing with some coconuts, rice. <laughs> hello, 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 oh, hello. Hubby is currently playing coconut rice. Not my coconuts, just the rice. Just the rice. I'll be back. Mm. <laughs> right, uh, let's get zoomed in and see how this is doing. Uh, as you can see, it's continued to really settle into these fine lines. It's making this line here look a lot deeper than it actually is, and 
Yep, the Hulk is starting to look like a Grand Canyon or like someone has taken an axe to the centre of my forehead, which... Fabulous. My runny eyes have spread the lilac much further out than I was intending. So it's kind of a little bit of a Beetlejuice look happening right now. Uh, the under eyes are still really, really dry and really creasy. And it's not the concealer that I've used because I've used that concealer a lot of times and it doesn't go like this. Um, if I smile, look how it emphasises those wonderful fine lines that I have going on there. And there. Hey. Uh, nose has continued to break down, as you can see. I'm losing coverage all around here. Completely gone from. I've just poked myself in the nose with my finger now. Did you see that? I just. Mm, completely lost coverage there. Uh, top lip's pretty much gone. Lipstick's gone, but that was tea, so I'm not surprised. Uh, chin is worn. Very ungracefully, it has to be said. Um, again, the planes of my cheeks are not looking too bad. I mean, you can still see. Um, you, know, you can you can still see the bronze of the blush and the highlights. So, and I suppose really from a distance it's not looking that bad. But once you get up close, and despite this oxidising, still definitely use the wrong shade because kind of like a floating white head thing in my viewfinder right now. So, um, what are my thoughts on the Morphe Fluidity Foundation? If you've got perfect skin, and by perfect I mean no particularly visible pores, no fine lines, no wrinkles, no texture, is normal, bang on normal, no dry bits anywhere, no oily bits anywhere, absolutely normal, and you're younger than uh, 22, then maybe that foundation will work for you. However, if you have any of those items that I mentioned, of which I have pores, texture, wrinkles, oily bits, dry bits, it, it's, it's not a flattering foundation. It's not one that I could recommend at all. In fact, to be perfectly honest, not only would I not touch it with a barge pole, I wouldn't touch it with somebody else's barge pole. Oh! Hey. It's a dropping thing. <laughs> are, are, are you having fun over there? Yeah. <coughs> Was it the thought <coughs> of me poking something with somebody else's barge pole? I don't know, I didn't damage my barge pole, so... Oh, oh that's alright then. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> That little interlude was provided to you by my husband. <laughs> Who's currently dishing up his lunches for the week, bless him, saving me the job. I did a, I did a, a spicy tomato Mediterranean pork stew type thing for tea tonight. So I uh, did that in the slow cooker and he's uh, having that with, as you could see, coconut rice which he's potting up for all of his lunches for the rest of the week. You didn't need to know that. You came here for the foundation, you got a little bit of slow cooker action as well. Let me know if you want me to start doing slow cooker recipes on here. Happy to do so. Um, but going back to the foundation... <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa! No. Just no. On that note, I hope you found this extremely non-biased review helpful. Uh, if you did, it'd be awesome if you could hit that like button for me. Comment, <coughs> share, subscribe. When you subscribe, don't forget to ring my bell. Ring my bell. And choose all notifications so that you get told every time that I upload another one of these videos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who was that? That was creepy. Can we not mention that snake on my channel? Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and talking of other films, when you finish watching all of my other ones, then it would be awesome 
if you could pop over and obviously check out some of the ones from my girlies in the beauty youtuber growth group who are as ever listed in my description box below right all that remains for me to say as ever as you'll stay fabulous and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.